What's going on everyone and welcome back to a video on the channel. It's been a long time between drinks but we are finally back with a Cricket Captain 2018 series. As you saw on the thumbnail teaser last night, we are going to try and rebuild the West Indies, find the next Courtney Walsh, the next Brian Lara and bring them back to the glory days that we are so used to. We're starting off here first with a test series against Sri Lanka. Best of three, and we have the toss. We have lost it, and uh, we are going to bowl first, which I possibly would have done anyway. But uh, I think with the overhead conditions, if we could get through the first session, it could be quite good. Now, I have made a few additions to the side. Darren Bravo is obviously back. He is batting at number three for us. And we've gone for a few new faces. Joseph, who has played a few games uh, as well. And what I'm going to do, and this is what JG Weaver has done, um, is for the test I'm going to go just wickets only because that is going to keep the recording to a decent time. So I'm hoping here that we can get a semi-decent roll on against a Sri Lanka side who I think is sitting just above us in the test rankings at the moment. I think we are number 7, they are number 6. So a win here in our own backyard in a series would be bloody awesome but the Sri Lankans do have a very good side it must be said and they have started off quite well too. Um, which is not promising for us, going quite defensive, but they are doing exactly what I would do in this situation, and that is try and bat out that first session and get them into uh, the next one where the weather is looking slightly better. Now, looking at the lineup of my team that I do have now, I do kind of regret not bringing on... Oh, Jesus, and Joseph needs to come off for rest. I do kind of regret not bringing in another seam-up option. We have gone with three seamers and two spinners in the side if you include Roston Chase in there. So I'm really hoping uh, that we can go. And I think we've actually got, there we go, our first wicket of this career mode. And it is the captain, Jason Holder, caught by Darren Bravo in the slips. Uwata gone for 28 off of 64. And he's done a fairly good job. But Joseph, uh, sorry, not Joseph, Holder coming in and getting that wicket that we need. And it looks as though Mendes, who is a very good player, for the Sri Lankans as well is gone. Bishu, our number one spinner, going and getting the job done. He's gone for four. And all of a sudden now, you would say if we headed into the break with Sri Lanka, just one down, that they would be in cruise control. But the game is pretty evenly poised at the moment after the first session. 81 for two. And uh, the West Indies or Windies will definitely go and take that here. Jason Holder and Bishu carrying on after the lunch break here. And that is what we like to see. We like to see these young guys. And it is quite a young, inexperienced um, Windies team or West Indies team, whatever you do want to go and call them. I will uh, vary between the two of them uh, throughout this series. And that one there is an LBW. Thank you for coming. That is cleaning up middle stump. And just as Matthews has gone and passed his 50, he has gone and lost his wicket. So Bishu doing the job that we would expect the spinner to do. Also with playing those two spinners, it would have been nice to bat first and I guess get the chance to bowl in that fourth innings. But that is not going to be the case. Joseph has been largely expensive for us here today. He has not picked us up any wickets compared to Kemar Roach. 10 overs and he has gone for none for 15, which is great to see. Going to bring in Roston Chase just before the interval. Silver has gone and picked himself up 50 as well. And you'd have to say now at T that Sri Lanka are back in control of this game with just the one wicket in that last session. And they do have two set players that are going very well. Dick Weller has just gone and passed 50 as well. He is starting to get a real move on here. And I'm hoping that we can go and try and get through. That's exactly what Roston Chase has done here. He's gone and got another LBW. You can see it is spinning quite a lot already, uh, which could be a little cause for concern for the West Indies batsmen, considering how many spinners I'm guessing that this Sri Lankan side is going to have. They definitely have, I think, Dita Silva as a spinner. Harath, we know. I think he's actually retiring at the end of this year, which would be a real shame to see him go, because he has been such a servant um, to... Sri Lankan cricket for such a long time. And here goes Bishu once again getting De Silva caught in the slips. Bravo has been very solidly, uh, solid there today, sorry. And uh, De Silva gone for 13. Dick Well is carrying along, uh, carrying on, sorry, very nicely. He has moved into the 90s just as we have taken the new ball. And it would be nice 
if we could manage to try and wrap up a few more wickets before the end of the day's play. And I think that would really put us uh, in the driver's seat. But Dicuela has gone and picked himself up 100. Just as he's gone and done that, though, he has edged behind off Joseph Dowrich with the catch. And he has gone for 100. Very well made 100 as well. And with just 22 minutes left to go, if we could sneak another one here, preferably Chandamal. Uh, then I would be very, very happy. But that does not seem to be the case. End of our first day in this windy save. And Sri Lanka are 312 for 6. You'd have to say that they're doing a very good job here at the moment. They do back quite deep as well, which is a little bit of a concern for us. And the pitch is already really starting to deteriorate, which is not good signs for us. There's another LBW. There has been plenty of them in this innings. And Pereira has gone LBW for 25 to Roach, who gets his first wicket of the game. So Joseph, very expensive. 29 overs. He has gone for 129 runs and has only picked up the one wicket. So that is not what we like to see. Chandamal putting on a very solid effort here. And you'd have to say that at this stage that the Windies are getting batted out of this game, and we are only in day two, session number one, um, which is a bit of a concern that we're not really getting that bowling going. And again, that could potentially come down to not having that fourth seamer in the side. I originally thought, as Chandamel has gone and brought up his 100, I originally thought that we were actually playing in, the, uh, in Sri Lanka, so we are playing in the subcontinent, which is why I went with the two spinners, but it doesn't seem to have worked here today, as 400 has come up. 450 now, and Chandamel is going absolutely mad. You know it must be a pretty good batting wicket or a poor bowling performance if bloody Harath is scoring 50-plus runs. Thank the Lords. Bishu has gone and got his fourth straight through Chandamel. He's gone for 139. Very surprised that Sri Lanka have not declared yet with 500 on the board. Possibly looking at Harath going and getting that 100. But it's not going to be the case as Bishu is gone. I was going to say straight through him. But that is a top edge that has gone down to a man down the ground. And Bishu now does have five. Chase, 140 he has gone for. We need to work on some of these economy rates of some of these players. And it is good to see that Holder has come in and wrapped up the tail. So Sri Lanka all out for 527. Not the greatest of starts, it must be said, in this career mode. We've got Braithwaite and Powell opening up for us. As I said, we do have Darren Bravo, uh, who is back in the side now. I brought him back in. I don't think he's playing for the Windies in any form at the moment. Shy Hope at number four. Hitmeyer at number five, who I think did just score uh, quite a nice ton in a one-day international against Bangladesh. Roston Chase, number six. Darich, our keeper, seven. Jason Holder at number eight. It's real hard with Holder. He's one of those guys who I personally don't think is good enough to bat inside the top six. But he's probably too good of a batter to bat at number 8. And it's just the way that we have gone with the side here today as Powell is gone for 3. Not the best of starts, it must be said, for the Windies here. Especially when they are chasing such a big total. Bravo has started off with a hiss and a roar. 8 off of 3 for him. And uh, at the moment, I'm really just focusing on getting through this session without losing another wicket. Getting through into day number three, which it looks as though we are going to do with just three overs left to go. And well done to the Windies for hanging out in there. Bravo 26, uh, Braithwaite 18 not out as we move into day number three. And Braithwaite has been batting very, very slowly. But at this stage, I really don't want to be... And I've just gone and put the bloody mockers on him. Put the kiss of death on him. Caught behind. That's a sharp catch by Chandamel. Oh, sorry, Dick Weller is, uh, is actually keeping. Um, and Bravo gone for 34 off 81. He was starting to look good. So that is a shame that he has gone and got himself out there. And with the way things are going at the moment, as Fernando has gone and cleaned up hope for one off of 11, all of a sudden, we are going to have to put this aggression down to just one bar. And probably, I hate to say this at this stage, we're only day three. We're only halfway through the test. But I am really at the moment looking probably not to get beaten, to be fair. And that is why we have gone so, so slowly. But um, that was a good end to the session, it must be said. We did lose Bravo early on and then Shy Hope shortly after that. But both Braithwaite and Hipmeyer have put on a fairly decent total. We are still 400-odd runs behind, which is... Bloody annoying, to be fair. We did let them get away in that first innings with the bat. And Braithwaite, after all that hard work, has just gone and missed a pretty straight one. 
from Harath, it must be said. He's gone for 47. Roston chasing now. Sri Lanka still 380-odd runs ahead. And uh, Hitmeyer looks as though he is going now. As I said, really would have loved to have won the toss and batted first on here. Because if we think the Sri Lankan spinners are a handful now, I mean, we've got to get to the fourth innings first. But imagine what they are going to be like in the fourth innings. They will be absolutely crazy, it must be said. The new ball has been taken, which is probably a little bit of relief, to be fair, for the Windies batsmen. Because it means that the spinners are going to come off. And uh, it is very slow going here at the moment as we head into T on day number three. Still 346 runs behind. So there is still a lot of work that must be done. Um, but these two are doing a fairly good job. And as I said... I don't want to think negatively in this career mode, but when a team puts 500 plus on you and you really are struggling, you're really just looking to try and not pick up that L, not looking to take that L as uh, Anton Griezmann would do in the Fortnite celebration. But Chase gone for a very well made 41 off of 152. That's been the problem for this uh, windy side here today in this innings, is that players have gone and made starts, but then have gone and got themselves out. Braithwaite, 47. Bravo, 34. Hipmeyer, 44. Roston Chase, 41. And Darich, the last man to go for 46. Windy still need 100 runs to avoid the follow-on. And with the way our tail is, I honestly do not think that that is going to happen. Roach gone for a golden. He's gone without troubling the scorers. He's faced one ball. We've got Bishu and Holder in. Still 90-odd runs left to avoid that follow-on. If we could somehow manage to avoid the follow-on at this stage, I would be absolutely ecstatic. Don't think it's going to happen, though, because Holder's middle stump has just been absolutely cleaned up there. And in comes Joseph with a test average of a miserly 3.5. Reminds me a little bit of the great Chris Martin for New Zealand. And that one there is gone. The spinners have done the damage, it must be said, to the Windies here. And it'll be very interesting to see... Just having a look at this bowling card. So Harath got four, Pereira got three, and then the two seamers taking the other ones. And we have actually been asked to follow on. So that is quite interesting. I thought potentially with how the game was playing out that we could have seen Sri Lanka go in and bat um, for maybe, you know, another couple of sessions. And they're giving themselves four sessions on this turning pitch, I guess, to have a go at the Windies. But we are just going to try and bat for as long as we can, try and knock off this deficit which we're not doing at the moment, to be fair, too bad of a job of. Get through that first, uh, I guess, session of play. 46 for no loss. We're going at a very slow pace, but I don't really mind that. There's another LBW, probably about the 10th LBW we have seen here today. It has been LBW City. The pitch is very up and down. There's quite a bit of swing. There's a bit of seam. And uh, it has been very, very tough to bet on, apart from that first innings where we saw Sri Lanka go and pile on 500 runs. This one here has been played out. Bit of a unique field for this stage in the test, but it has worked. Matthews gets the catch. Powell gone again after making a start. That is the frustrating thing for me in this save, is that people have gone and made starts and then have gone and thrown it away. Hope is going to make bugger all runs in this game. I don't know how his wicket-keeping win. He's gone for four. Pretty sure he made a duck in the first innings. All of a sudden, we are still 180 runs behind. We're going to be four wickets down now as Bravo is going to get out here caught in the slips. And all of a sudden, we are probably staring down the face of a innings defeat. De Silva now into bowl. Chase is going to be gone here because we do only have the wickets on to keep things moving along in this test match here. Shy Hope very possibly may not be playing that next game. He didn't wicket keep because Darich was our keeper and he has made four runs combined uh, in those two innings. There's going to be a lot of head searching and soul searching for this Wendy's team it must be said. Still 129 runs uh, behind and just the four wickets left in hand. And as we were expecting, the spinners have done an absolute treat here on the Windies batsman. Holder gone for a second ball duck. And it looks as though with still 100 odd runs left to get, that it is going to be an innings victory here for, uh, I was going to say South Africa, but for Sri Lanka. It is just a matter of time of how quick they wrap it up. Hitmeyer with another start. You've got to say... It's promising for him that he has gone and got these starts, but just hasn't been able to go and cash in 
on them. Haratha's going to pick up another wicket. The man is just an absolute machine. I think he's got four. No, he's got five here. He'll be looking for ten for the match. He did get, uh, and he's going to get it, to be fair. So well deserved to Harath. And that is a sharp catch there by that man in close. Three wickets in the over. Joseph is gone. And Sri Lanka win the first test of three by an innings and 88 runs. So that 527 opening up was uh, just a hurdle too far to get, it must be said. Harath picking up 10 for the match, and he rightly so gets the man of the match. Uh, so as you can see, we do have another two tests that are coming up. Probably going to be a few changes heading into that next one after how the batsman did really crumble in that first test, which is a shame. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to give it a big thumbs up. <coughs> Excuse me. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, let me know down below in the comments if you like this idea of rebuilding the West Indies. I think it's something quite cool. And it is something quite easy to get me back into the YouTube game. As I said, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you have a good weekend. And we'll catch you very, very soon.